Hello, my name is Jesse Walter. This is another UDK tutorial. We're going to cover static meshes. Um, for this tutorial, we're going to use the built-in UDK meshes. Uh, and these are objects that we will populate this level with to make it less boring. For example, on this side rail, we're going to put up some railings um, some metal sheets so that it looks a little more interesting. Uh, also below the tower here and uh, under the road we're going to add some um, I-beams, some support structures. We'll add some I-beams and, and things sticking out of this um, BSP brush that we have textured here. Uh, those are the things we're going to cover and without further ado let's get started. I think the uh, first thing I'd like to do is add some um, debris hanging out of this um, road here. And when we add that debris, we'll also um, retexture that debris so that it matches this, um, this road and this concrete. So the first thing we need to do is pull up our content browser. And I'm going to start with some rocks. So I'm going to do a search for rocks. Make sure that uh, you have fully loaded. And search under static meshes. And here we see we get a selection, a variety of rocks here. All right, so I'm going to, I think I want to use this one. So to put, place this static mesh, I just drag, click, drag, and drop it onto the location. I'm going to minimize this screen that I want to place it. We can adjust it with the widget like so. And there we have it. Um, now one thing to keep in mind is that we're dragging these static meshes from other Unreal packages. We really need to make sure that we have our own package. So I'm going to delete this static mesh for now. And in the content browser, I'm going to right click on that static mesh and create a copy. Now my package name can be whatever I want to name it. I already have a package. So in case I didn't uh, cover this previously, um, I had named it the bridge. And what I like to do is change the name of the static mesh just slightly so that it's distinguishable. I'm just going to copy this for later use. Control C. Then click here, and I do have a mesh folder under the bridge. If you don't, um, please go ahead and set up your grouping as such um, for your static meshes, materials, and so forth. Um, the grouping is like a folder, so it, the folder in this case is mesh all my static meshes will be located in the mesh folder um, my materials would be located in the materials and so forth and I like to check the save packages click OK alright so now if we look through our content browser on the side menu here and scroll on down let's see we should have a package called, I can sort this, the bridge. There's our bridge package. And we click on that. Mm, well, it's in there. I may not have put it in the right place. So we can move this. Move. Mesh. Just a Oh, you may not have went in there because I had clicked on this 
um, menu earlier when I was trying to resave it. So let's move it to here and save the package. Click OK. So I've already got meshes in here. Uh, when you click on the package top uh, level folder, it's it's going to show you everything you know within the subfolders. So if I click on detail uh, decal materials, we don't see the mesh because we saved it in the mesh folder. And since we did a search for rock, it's searching the the name rock. If I clear that out, we'll see the other static meshes I've already placed in this level. Now that we have this static mesh in here, I'm going to go into its properties and change it. By, I did this by double clicking on the static mesh. Now we see that it has no collision and in this case it's probably uh, not a big deal. We probably do not need to put a collision on it. However, I'm going to take a look at the materials. And you can find these materials under the LOD info and elements and this is dirty rock now since I want this material to look like um, as if it's part of this road here let's take a look at this material We're going to find in Content Browser. So that material is the terrain dirt. And I need to replace that actually with the materials I have in my package. Okay, so what I did is I saved all my materials that I used for my BSPs into um, the materials folder in my bridge package. So I'm just going to reapply that material and the BSP has kept the information on the panning and size so we don't have to worry about that so much. Let's go back to our content browser and let's go back to our mesh. I'm going to open up these properties and for the moment I'm just going to move this off to the side of the screen, go back to my materials, grab this uh, terrain dirt Pull this back over. Go into the LODs, elements, and in material, replace that material. So I had to do a little digging around. I found that uh, in some of the more recent versions of UDK for the, about the last year, there's been a little bug with uh, swapping materials out so one way you can do is just drag and drop that material onto the static mesh that is in your scene so I'm going to do that right now content browser here's our rock um, I know it works for this guy so we're going to put this rock right here shrink that adjust my rock And now we're going to grab the uh, excuse me the material, and that material is the terrain dirt. I'm sorry. Come on, come on, come on. 
drag and drop it right on there. And now we've got a piece of rock that blends into blends into our road here. Just going to make some adjustments, duplicate this out, and if you remember how to duplicate, it is hold the Alt button and drag the widget. And so that it's not looking the same and kind of add some diversity, we're going to turn this. Bring it down just a hair. And if you put a, enough of these together, it'll look right. Just adjust my rock as needed. Once again, to change the widget, I am hitting the spacebar. I'm going to pause the video while I continue to put these rocks in. Okay, so I have copied over these rocks, and I felt that they were still pretty smooth. I want to see some jaggedness, so I found this jaggy looking rock and drag that into my scene, or actually saved it to my um, package, and then drag it into the scene. We're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to adjust this and then throw that material on it. Change the size of it. Let's do this. And yeah. hmm. Just sink that in here like that. And I don't like that. I'm going to undo this. So I'm done with. Um, this section of the bridge. I'm going to do the same for the rest of the bridge. And I'll do that off the recording in order to save time. Um, but just to kind of walk through what I'm going to do next is take that same process and do that for this bottom BSP and add that concrete look to it. So I think what I want to do is just grab kind of this base layer I've created. By holding control and then left clicking with my mouse button.
that'll be a, let's see, there's more. Control, control. Click, click, and e click. Alright, um, as you're adding static meshes, you'll want to add them to their la own layer. And I've already started doing that. And as you can see here in the content browser, there's a tab here called Layers. And once you've highlighted and selected the meshes you want to add to a layer, open up that content browser Layers tab. Uh, in the dialog there and click on layers and click new and we'll call this bridge debris I hope I spelled that right it doesn't matter as long as we know what it is and so now if I uncheck this they disappear And we can see I missed a couple. So I'm going to click on those, click on Bridge Debris, right click on that, and add actors to select layer. And look, there's another one. All right, I think I got all those. And now what we can do is we can grab these and select all of them. Shrink that. This makes it real easy and nice. Hold Alt. I'm just going to drag them down. And I'm going to go in manually and adjust the size and shape of these. But for now, I'm doing this so that I can quickly add this concrete to all of them just that fast. You'll learn little tri tricks and tips as you're using UDK more often and this can be a real time saver for you. Alright, so I'm going to finish uh, working on this and I will be back after. So that's all there is to um, adding static meshes, at least the, uh, sorry, the built-in static meshes and as you can see it made for a much more interesting bridge than this, that flat version. If I open up my content browser, I'm going to show you all the additional parts I've already added in. There we go. So I've added in these um, I-beams as well as the support structure static mesh on the side. I've added uh, three different components and I've put them together this whole side railing is made up of just these three static meshes and as you can see that is a much more interesting look than this plain cement style so play around with your level add some additional static meshes to it and have a good time I'll catch you on the next video tutorial, which will be um, setting up our lights.